Do we have anything useful? Nope, not really. All right, that's that tent. Oh, hello there. Hi, welcome. <laughs> well, well, welcome to this wonderful wet morning, actually. Um, this very, that's very beautiful, the rain here. I don't know if I've ever shown you the rain in Lantern. Has it ever rained in this series yet? I don't know. But anyways, it's beautiful, and I love the sound of it, and I love the rain in this, in this game. I love it. But anyways, welcome back to my Unturned Survival Guide. And uh, yeah, we are here uh, in town because, well, for multiple reasons. How about you come down here? How about you come down here and join me? All right. Um, I'm here for multiple reasons. One, for loot. Uh, I got quite a bit. <laughs> I found a new uh, gun, the Bulldog. And, oh, is the rain stopping? Oh, man. It's been raining in the entire night. I've, I've been out here the entire night uh, looting. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, that's unfortunate. Anyways, hopefully we'll get rain later on. Um, well, we don't need to rain in this episode, but hopefully in another episode we will need rain. Anyways, um, I found a couple of things that I want to show you. Uh, the socket wrench, which you can actually use to take um, what's it called wheels of or tires of cars or drivable cars. So that's really cool. Just so you know what that is. Um, and then I found the walkie-talkie, and I don't know if I've covered this yet, but in if you play this multiplayer, you can use walkie-talkie with the earpiece, and you can communicate secretly with, um, I believe the way it works is other people in your group that has an earpiece. They can listen to you walking, talking in a walkie-talkie, so that's pretty cool. I don't have anyone <laughs> in this world, so I'm just dropping that. I'm keeping the socket red, so because that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, yes, wonderful, beautiful morning. But the other reason, other than loot and other than food, <laughs> the other reason why I'm here is, well, I actually do want to check this place real quick. But I'm here for a vehicle, because in this episode, we will be making a garage and also a better place to land our helicopter, because that's going to be helpful. And I just thought of another thing that I actually really, really want from this town. So that will be in the fire department. Um, but let me just really quickly see if there should be a generator or some lights here, maybe, or something. Let's have a quick look around. Anything in this thing? Nope. All right. Uh, let me head over to the fire department and I need some flares because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that you can make like the torches we made in the last episode but that you can flares that you can attach to the wall instead of torches and because I'm planning on making a helicopter landing pad I just thought that would be pretty cool to have. Hey buddy can I have some of your flares? Thank you. Let me see well if you have any that is. Oh I mean that's one. Uh, yes, they do have a couple. Unfortunately, they do not have many, nor do they have many in this. They don't have any in the same color, actually. Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Bat zombie. Okay, um, but that'll do. I guess that'll do. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. So, I also came here for a vehicle, and we'll find that on the other side of this town. I've already decided what what um, vehicle this should be, so we just gotta grab it. Get out of here. And we're just gonna get home and get this project started. It shouldn't take too long at all. It's pretty simple. Um, I just gotta figure out where I wanna put it, but here is the vehicle that I wanna get. Multiple reasons for this. First off, it has everything that we need, including battery and all the tires. Second, uh, it has storage back here, so we can actually put one or two, I don't know how many we'll be able to fit, uh, but we'll be able to fit storage in here. Perfect for looting. Plus, no one else is gonna need this ambulance. So, yeah, that's a test sirens. I mean, you can't go wrong. So, we're gonna take this back home. Again, if you're playing multiplayer, um, and people are not friendly or whatever, you can lock it so other people can steal it, unless they have a steel wheelie. I do wanna go over here to the fuel real quick and get some fuel in it and refuel my fuel tank. And uh, there we go. 
So let me refuel this thing and I will be right back. All right, there we go. I have completely drained this thing. Um, they do re restock their own fuel, so don't worry about losing fuel. Or, sorry, I'm completely wiping your entire map out of fuel. Um, <laughs> so don't worry about that. But let us where... Okay, need to go over here. We need to get back up on the bridge. And we need to do that over here. We're going to take the police car as well. Probably would be... I don't know how more maneuverable and fast it would be. But I'm taking the ambulance because of the Ugi. Because of the storage. <laughs> and let me just check the map here. Uh, we need to go this way. Yes, we need to go this way. All right. Let's turn on the sirens. We're in a hurry. And let's get back to base. And let's get started on the... Okay, I'm going to turn those off. <laughs> and we're going to get started on this project. You know what? There's no one else here. No one else here. I'm gonna drive like I own the road. Uh, do, if it's in real life, do drive like you're supposed to. Kids. Uh, yeah. Give tight squeeze. Okay. <laughs> Let me get home. It should be right over. Actually, let's see how, how well this thing does off-road because this area is pretty bumpy when it comes to the terrain, but let's see. Oh dear. Uh, eh. I think the game is having some issues. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we might... I mean, I can live with this. But I think we might want to make our own makeshift roads. That's actually not a thing. But I'm thinking of just putting, like, floors and ramps and stuff like that to make our own road. That would be pretty cool. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. That, okay. I'm sorry if you're seasick after that. I almost am. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get right to it. I need to empty my inventory. And then I need to gather some materials. And then I'll be right back. So stay tuned. Let me finish stuff. All right, so I'm just making another locker here. And I'm just going to show you that you can actually stack these on top of each other like that. So that is pretty cool. All right, that was my inventory pretty much fixed. I'm gonna drink some stuff and eat some uh, granola bar and a chocolate bar. And then I'm gonna head outside and I'm gonna chop down some trees so we can make this thing. I'm thinking of putting it right here. I don't know if I want it connected to this building, but I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking about it. Um, but let me chop down a bunch of trees. Hopefully I have the inventory space required for this. Otherwise, we're just gonna do it step by step. But anyways, let me cut down all these trees. It's going to take a little bit. Alright, so that was that. My inventory is full of logs. I, didn't, I don't know if you saw it, but I upped my chopped down trees faster. And I also upped my harvest crops and plants more efficiently. Um, though I'm not sure if this has an impact when harvesting trees. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know that part. But anyways, I was thinking while chopping away, realistically, because we just have one vehicle and the chopper. I could just expand my 2x2 two two house into a 2x3. So basically expanded one out here. Have a garage for the ambulance and well call it good. And also use less materials. But I also want a better place to land this thing. Basically a bigger platform. And I'm thinking of making a huge garage. Like I'm talking 3x3. Three three. And it's going to take a lot of wood. Going to take a tire gonna take some time but I think we're gonna do it also because it will be easier to land this chopper there and maybe we can then we can put some uh, decorative stuff up there maybe a beach chair and some an umbrella or something like that why not um, so let's get right to it I'm gonna need floor I'm gonna need one two three four five six seven eight nine okay that was just all the wood that I've just chopped all right, um, let's see here. 
gonna place it next one and I'm basically gonna and put it there as well so it's gonna stick out like this and then we're gonna go here here and here and to be honest with you I could just call it there and have like this area to land the chopper on but again uh, yeah I wouldn't mind it being big even though it's gonna take a lot of wood also, you may be wondering, well, we can't drive up this thing. Don't worry, we will take care of that in just a bit. Uh, looks like I might need to move the chopper. So let's move that over a bit. And place it down. That should be good. Yep, perfect. And there, this seems extremely big. And yes, I am making it way bigger than I need to. <laughs> but I want it big and uh, yeah, who knows, we will maybe get more vehicles in the future. But um, but yeah, okay, yeah, I am making it quite big, aren't I? Nope, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. If anyone has a problem with it, that it's bigger than my actual house, too bad. <laughs> also, the reason why I'm not moving it one back so it's flush with the actual house is because of these trees here because if I come in from this area and need to land it's easier doing it here because there's no trees here so I'd rather move it up then again I could just swing around and then come in from this way huh okay yeah I think I'm gonna move it back one um, I think it's gonna look way better so that's cool now I just need to chop down some more trees and then we'll get some walls up, we'll get some window um, holes up. I don't know if I'm gonna make the glass now. But we'll definitely get the the sides up and such. Maybe I'll even time lapse that entire thing. But I want to wait with the doors and the ramps that I want to actually talk about. So, let me chop down trees and get that built up. And I'll be right back with you. Enjoy the time lapse. Alright, so before I continue the build, this is how far we've gotten, by the way. I put some windows here and here. Um, this, of doors is, this, of course, is going to be the garage doors that we will be able to drive through. Um, but what I actually want to do is I want to make this roof higher. I want to basically make a double roof. I don't want the roof to be here. I want it to be one higher. Um, also because I want to land the chopper on it and I want that to be one higher up. Um, plus, it's going to give a bigger headspace. Um, so for that, I have a little bit of an issue because I can't, eh, eh, I can't reach. <laughs> I can't reach. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small pine plate. And let's see if this works. And then I'm going to angle it holding down right click like so. Then I'm going to place it and then see if I can maybe reach. Eh, no, I cannot. So I think what I will then have to do, I'm just showing you this so you can see what is going on. I'm going to make a single roof and then I'm going to need to place this here. So I'm also going to need one more pillar and like so. Then I'm going to take the roof, going to place it down. I'm going to take this and then I hope that this works. This roof is going to be temporary, by the way. So I'm going to get up here and then I should be able to now place the pillars here and a pillar here. In fact, let's do it right now. One, one, like so, like so. And then should be able to make some walls real quick. Boom, boom. Place, place and take the roof away. And there we go. It is too high. 
So I'm gonna do that with all the other ones. And yeah, that's just a little trick uh, that you can do. You can make these um, plates that you can pretty much freeform, and that is actually what we will be doing here. Just, I think we'll freeform them. Um, I'll try, I guess, with a ramp. I'm not quite, I can't remember what it is, but it's something like this we might use to here to angle it, but there's another thing that is already angled, so we'll see about that. Anyways, I'm gonna do this with all the other ones, and I'm gonna put the roof at the way top there. Um, actually, I'm gonna, yeah, it can be a little bit complicated, but you'll see how I do it. Anyways, I'll be, uh, yeah, yeah, watch me do that, because it's gonna be timeless. <laughs> A quick thing that I just discovered and didn't mention before is that you can, well, as you can see, I just keep taking them on and off like so. And what you can actually do, you don't need pillars out here to, uh, the, out here to place them. You can, once you have one down, you can place them next just by making sure that it attaches to the one that you're already standing on. So that makes life actually a whole lot easier. This is incredible. This is incredible. Okay, you see that? You see that right there? That's a plane. I mean, you should be able to see that, but that's a plane. That is a supply drop. That's a supply drop. We cannot lose that. We cannot lose that.